the wild. The weaver. And the worm. Three primal forces from which the world Gaia springs. The wild is creation, formless and abundant. The weaver shapes, making order out of chaos. The worm, whose purpose was to destroy the old, to make room for the new, went mad. Now, a force of corruption feeding on greed, malice, and hate. It ravages Gaia. Through its unwitting accomplices, mankind, the balance between those three forces is long gone now. Insidiously, the worm gains more and more ground every day. Vitalized by the damage humans have brought to the Earth. We, the werewolves, remain. Born of man, beast, and spirit. We are the vindication of Gaia and the Wild. way to get Indran out of the region is to attack their bottom line. We have a plan to convince them there's no profit to be had here. Ludmilla, if you please. I've recently gained access to the system that controls all the on-site oil pumps. That's our target. We tamper with the pumps and send dummy data to the system to make them think their oil field has run dry. Will that really be enough? According to the internal files I got my hands on, they treat unprofitable sites like gangrenous limbs. They'll give this one the chop right away. So, how do we go about this, Rotko? Who does what? Ludmilla knows the location, so she will take point. She'll infiltrate the site and connect Ava to their network, giving her access to their system. Once I'm hooked up, I'll only need a few minutes. But if something goes wrong, my wife ends up on her own in enemy territory. I don't like it. I'm going to be fine, Call. We've been preparing this for weeks. We've calculated the risks. And if there's any sign of trouble, you and I go in and retrieve her. But I'd rather we stay covert. Ludmilla will have the easiest time on her own. I'm heading out. I want to be done before daybreak. Take care of Adana while I'm away. I think she's going a little crazy all cooped up in here. It's our duty to be here. She needs to learn that it's hers, too. She's just a teenager, Call. We were young once, too, remember? Take care of her while I'm out. Love you. See you soon. I don't like thinking that Ludmilla's on her own, Rodko. I understand. She's my sister, remember? What about Rafik? He never leaves his lupus shape. No one would have noticed him. I gave it a lot of thought. Her chances of success are better if she's alone. It's as simple as that. If things don't go as planned, you can tear through as much Endrin scum as you like to get her out. But for now, we stay put. Go. Rest while we wait. Got everything squared away? Not a lot to square away. All I'm doing is pressing a button once Ludmilla gets me hooked up. 
Still got a ways to go before I can do much more than that. If I tried to breach their network, they'd be on us in a second. Don't be so hard on yourself. You're ten times better at hacking than me or Rotko with your eyes closed. Just give it time. I know, I know, but... Thanks. A little pep talk never hurts. But how are you doing? Talk to your daughter yet? No, not yet. I'm just heading her way. Hey. How you doing? I'm bored out of my mind. There's nothing to do here, and it's wet and miserable. Don't worry, our work here's nearly finished. You'll be back at the cairn with your friends before you know it. I know, but why'd you have to drag me out here in the first place? It's not like you've got me doing anything out here. Your mom wanted you to come along so you could see what our field missions entail. They entail a bunch of bullshit. All we ever do is watch and take notes. We're not accomplishing anything. Language, young lady. And preparation is key. Know how your enemy will respond before you move. Foe stripped of surprise is fangless. Why didn't you go with Mom anyway? She's all alone out there. If something happens to her... I wish I could have. But Rodko wants us to keep a low profile. And there's no one better at that than your mom. <laughs> Rodko's a dumbass. Hey, that's your uncle you're talking about. And the leader of our pack. You know it's his job to make those decisions. And like I said, all that observation we were doing was minimizing the danger. Your mother will be just fine, Aidy. Don't worry. Shit. Kahal, wake up! We're gonna need you. A helicopter just touched down on the site's landing pad. Apparently it's some Endron exec. Their presence has shaken things up. Tell me Ludmilla is okay. She's okay. They've still got no idea she's on site. But their guard patrols have changed, and certain areas are locked down. And that includes the one Ludmilla's in. So what's the plan now? The mission's sunk. We go in there, get her out, and wait for things to quiet down. But to get her off site, the locked off areas need to be manually unlocked. And Ludmilla's stuck on the wrong side. Shit. Fortunately, she has already secured a terminal. She'll guide you to her location over the radio. Go now. Bring her back. There's no time to waste. My sister needs you. Ludmilla, I'm on my way. Remember, stay out of sight. I'll open any door I have access to through their network. I've opened all the external ducts. Guards. Ludmilla, we've got a lot of company. 
The arrival of the Endron exec has changed their setup. Tell me where you are. I'm looking at the southern part of the outer fence. And a shit ton of guards. There's no way I'll be able to make a move without being seen. Southern part of the outer fence. Got it. There. That should distract you for a few minutes. But if a guard does see you... He won't live long enough to raise the alarm. They sold their souls to Endron. They don't get any mercy. Hell of a time for a malfunction. I'll go check it out. Fixed and fast. Some big shot just arrived on site. The folks upstairs want everything to be perfect. I'm in the refinery. Perfect. I'm not far now. Nearly the passageway leading into it. Shit! Something's following me. What is it? I think it's a black spiral dancer. Please! But Mila, just hold on. Fuck! Rod, go. I heard. The war sneaking around. We fight. Now go! I'll meet you with Rafiq. I'm done fucking around. Next room. 